Good morning. This is Edgar from Cremona. I'm here live transmitting. Mondo Musica 2020 is starting like this here. Okay. We're still organizing. I hope you can hear me very well. And uh, I just woke up a little bit more than one hour ago. Didn't make breakfast. I'm really looking forward to get the coffee and I went to um, get some nice croissant and we're still here getting everything ready to have a coffee and uh, we have our live transmission here for the breakfast. Um, I hope that my staff and also my daughter is here are getting ready for the whole thing and Finally, we can eat together a croissant because, oh damn, I'm so hungry, incredible. Usually I'm always eating a little bit and have a nice coffee with milk. This here in the backside is Anna, she is working hard here, is designing the whole um, advertising um, pictures with the writing on it and things like this. And she came by train because she's living in another city towards Bergamo. Mm -hmm. yes. And then uh, over there, they're working um, with a coffee machine. And uh, I'm looking forward to have my coffee with you. Um, I just want to tell you a little bit about the whole event and everything I'm actually, I would love to do with this whole Mondo Musica. Um, uh, exhibition live from my workshop, okay? Now, sorry for all these very um, um, strange um, setup and things like this. Now, the thing is that usually people were coming to Cremona, usually professional musicians don't come that often. From all my um, musicians in Vienna, Austria, only once it happened that four of them came to Cremona to visit me, we were staying at my house and we had barbecuing and things like this and we did even a, a little bit violin making and we issued them a, a certificate that they were doing the first uh, step in violin making. One of, or two of them even bought some tools. But now, usually professional musicians don't have time to come and visit uh, Cremona. But amateurs and people who are really passionate about our craft and uh, classical music or they just want finally a great instrument coming to Cremona is a highlight of their life and it is indeed extremely important to see where the instruments are made to see the workshops just like you can see now via YouTube my workshop but to come to Cremona is really outstanding the experience because most of the buildings are are so old that even at the time of Stradivari they were older the buildings uh, than the time from now to Stradivari like this uh, building here 15th century okay um, and we are just living in those buildings and it, for us it's normal but it's not normal for everybody Ooh, here comes Captain. I just want a little bit of milk in my long coffee. Do we have milk? I hope so. I wrote to you, me. <laughs> Vladimir Ivan, wish you good morning. Ciao, Vladimir. Dormito bene. Vladimir, yesterday evening we had a, a nice dinner with all the violin makers. A torta frita, man. I was still digesting it this morning, but it was really good. Huh? But it's, I'm glad I, I, at a certain point, Stefano Konya went away and I said, okay, I just take this chance and I also went away because otherwise I don't know, I don't want to know when Vladimir realized to go home. Anyhow, so now with this uh, Corona issue and the whole world, we're all in the same situation. I think it is very important that we do our best things in order to, to keep our digital um, life as similar as it has been. This is Marco. Ciao, Ciao Marco. Yes, here's some coins for the milk because I need some milk in my morning coffee. And I just, oops, sorry. 
have to take out here some coins. Is it just uh, yes. not you not you not oops. <laughs> Oh, sorry. This real life. This, this is real life. This captures the money very good. Huh? Okay. If you're interested in, I will put the link down below. <laughs> so, um, anyhow, so I think it is very important that we all give our best to keep things as normal as possible. I know you don't have breakfast with Edgar in the morning, but you know, usually during Mondo Musica, um, which is a fair here in Cremona outside of the uh, town in, uh, at the fairgrounds. Um, usually, I always have served breakfast here in my workshop in order that I think this is better than every booth at the fairground. My workshop is really huge and really nice and very big. The building is very old, the ceiling is very high. We all are dreaming of, 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 of staying in, in, in rooms like this, I believe. And so I think it is very nice to the people come here. So I offer during Mondo Musica in the past years always breakfast here in my workshop. And people joined that and I served it up to two o'clock in the afternoon. And then later on, I, uh, I served the uh, aperitivo. So now during this event, what I'm here doing right now, um, I actually, I just want to contribute to this life we have to change. And that you can from at home still can have the feeling that at this weekend at least you have the chance that you can be a little bit more in Cremona. So um, now we are waiting for the milk and then I will have my coffee and uh, a croissant. I took eight different types of croissant. I, I just take a coffee already because it's so easy. My mouth is so thirsty that I need it just... Uh, Mm. Wow. Um, is it, is it, is it, my mother is like this. If, when she wakes up, then she needs immediately a coffee. If she doesn't get within one hour a coffee, then she's a, a different person. I'm kind of a person like this. I'm starting to be different than usual, okay? Um, so now I get a little bit more and then it's getting better here. Mm. Um, so, in order to keep things as normal as possible, my schedule, you might have seen it already, I transmit half an hour in the morning and uh, I'm kind of the person that I don't worry to not talk enough and show you things uh, in 30 minutes. And uh, then around lunchtime, I actually I wanted to make it always 2 o'clock, but there are different things also going on. So today at um, 12.45, um, no, today at 2 o'clock, Marco Mauro, the cello player, which you can see on my online shop, um, is uh, coming. He will play a cello, we will talk a little bit, we will compare. If somebody has a question, could I hear this one or that one, we can do that, you know. Uh, it's it, it's a interacting and, and you can see what what uh, how it looks like and how it sounds and if you want to hear more the C spring or the A spring or if you uh, want the opinion of Marco himself, uh, he's he's a nice guy and uh, has no problem to talk in front of the camera. And so this is the transmission we will do today at two o'clock, and then in the evening I thought that I have three days: Friday, Saturday, Sunday. In the evening, I will make an aperitivo one. I will do here. Here, good morning, Elias. And uh, so then I will have an aperitivo um, one, maybe in uh, one square. One um, tomorrow uh, evening, we have uh, the consortium where I'm a quite active member, and I'm very convinced that having the consortium certificate for my master instruments and for all the people who work in my workshop. Um, that, uh, that uh, buongiorno maestro, Jose Maria, ciao, buongiorno. And uh, so I want to uh, make a short visit with you together at the consortium and see how many makers are there. And they prepared something, Vladimir Kubansi, who is a, as well a very active member and is very good in creating group. And I think this is a very key point from our consortium so that uh, we go there and we see what he um, contributed for our um, 
group there, and uh, then maybe we will have a uh, aperitivo another day on Piazza Stradivari next to the um, statue of Stradivari. And the weather is a little bit, usually it was very nice weather up to two or three days ago, and now it's starting to rain, so it really depends on the weather, if, if it's one day or another, so I don't want to limit myself today, this morning. Um, and then one day maybe we also have breakfast at the main square at the Piazza del Duomo, maybe on Sunday it would be nice, you know, on one side people go into the church, and on the other side you see people um, setting up their their booth, which is a, actually a small table, and they're, they're only allowed to put two instruments. I also participate, I also would do that, and we're not supposed to have posters, nothing, just small business cards. I'm very curious, in hard time like this, putting limits like this, and want to see how that works, and so I participate as well there in my free times I have in between. Um, buenos días, seguro de dieces cosas muy interesantes. Yes, I will do my best, okay? My Spanish is not so good, but I, more or less I can, I can make it. But I'm happy that you are following me here. Wow, this is already good morning, even from Greece. Jason, Diego, lastima que no sé inglés. Me español. No good, but you know, but <laughs> but I worked for many years with a guy from uh, with a colleague from uh, Colombia, um, Giorgio Grisales, and uh, this is now the milk in the nice coffee. Oh my God! Ah, good morning. It's for for some it's morning, for others is it's the evening. I know, mm -hmm. but this is good. Yeah. Yeah, then I will have a brioche, but first I drink like this and then I will see. So, it's, uh, this is all this, and then, so, today at 2 o'clock we have the cello, right? And now there are people who play cello, then we have people who play the violin, more violins than viola, but we make bridges who are very democratic, even if they're in my minority, we dedicate the whole Sunday transmission for viola. Uh, I, yesterday I recorded all my violas, I'm, I, I didn't even expect that we have so many violas and um, I will um, uh, get uh, Lena played all the violas. Since uh, Lena on, um, on Sunday morning doesn't have time to, uh, to uh, play, um, we make it on Saturday. Uh, the recording for which we are going to put on Sunday at two o'clock uh, Cremona time. Um, Greenwich, London, Paris, Cremona time. Remember Cremona time. And uh, so we put this one on uh, on Sunday at two o'clock. And then Sunday evening uh, at six o'clock, I think we make the aperitivo on Sunday. And uh, this will be the last transmission, which comes from my YouTube channel, let's say. And uh, I will make a, a, a conclusion about how the whole event was. And uh, I'm trying to transmit and show you all the small thing. What is your favorite tool in the workshop? Wow, my favorite tool in the workshop. Uh, people don't ask me that too often, but I will show you my favorite tool is my favorite tool. This one is my yes. Uh, are you ready for my favorite tool? I bought it when I was um, about when I was 13 or 14 years old I started to make a guitar okay first guitar was an electric guitar because I thought it's much easier and um, to work on that one one of the tools which I started to have was this 
It's a tool. It's my small plane. It is actually not one of these super tiny um, ones um, out of brass, which look much uh, more beautiful. But this one here is actually, I will flip the camera around and then you can see it better. This one here, this here are my iPods, so you can have an idea how, how big it is. Yeah, so this is a, yeah. Um, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a plane you can keep easy in your hands like this, finger put like this, you know. This is maybe 25 millimeters large. Uh, and you can tell how many years I have used it and the varnish went away and uh, how it looks like. This is a small, I we call it the Kunz, Kunz 100. 100 because it's probably 10 centimeters long or something, I don't know. Um, but it's, it's actually, when you buy it, it's, it's in pretty bad conditions and then you have to adjust it better. And uh, so here you can have it better, how it looks. So it's, it's actually not even 10. I think from um, this guy here, which makes very beautiful planes here, I'm, I'm, I'm not paid for the planes. This is Mr. Lee Nielsen from America, United States. This is just, you know, a, a convertible small um, roadster, this here behind. But, and he also makes these smaller planes, but this one here is just, it is actually my lovely plane, okay? I'm happy to make breakfast with my small plane here. And uh, just to, to show you, because much nicer are actually these small planes here. Yeah, if you see these ones here. This is my wife. Oh, I should have taken away this picture here. Yeah, um, um, we have here also, even Min has on her working bench her plane, okay, her Lee Nelson, and then many other planes here. They look very nice. And this one is just to compare my lovely plane, which is my favorite tool, okay? And here, if you look at Marco, for instance, who is now here working, you also see that he's also using a plane, one of these small ones, right? So, and here again, so we are using a lot of planes, okay? So these ones are looking all nice with this brass, looks like gold or whatever, but at the very end, you know, my lovely plane, this is my favorite tool, okay? So, how about um, my breakfast here? Sorry that I'm here like this. I put this a little bit like this. And then, oh, here comes a question. How we can protect our oil varnished guitar from top fingerprints? Sorry, I couldn't read the whole thing. From top fingerprints, because, um, hold on, because Foley is not the best way, I think. That's in advance. Um, I, I just think um, the fingerprints actually, you know, on, on a guitar or on, on the varnish are not a problem because it's nothing else than a little bit of grease, okay? I, I, I know that's now gross, but it's, you know, we all are a little bit greasy and this grease is actually not so bad. It's, it's on the long run, certain um, sweat is aggressive, but the grease, no. So if you just, after you play a clean microfiber without any product and you just whip it off, that's more than enough, okay? This is my question. How long does it take to make a master instrument from order to delivery? This is a good question, it really depends. Right now, I just had to write a few mails yesterday or the day before yesterday, and I wrote them like December, January, somehow like, I know that everybody wants immediately everything. If it's one of my master instruments right now, I'm like, 
uh, within the year January already. So it's now, if you are in the next one, imagine next instrument. So I make like 10 instruments a year, maybe 12. Who knows if it's more violins than rather 12. If you have 10 cellos, boy, then I don't fit in that schedule. So it really depends a little bit. But right now I would say waiting list is like another two, three instruments I have to make which have been ordered recently. Um, so, about the varnish, I wouldn't... Um, uh, but in, in, very important before, when cleaning that the uh, microfiber is very um, clean. If there is a, some, some dirt inside, you just make scratches on your instrument. So you just, it has to be completely clean. If it falls down on the floor, don't clean your instrument anymore with this rag. Get a new one. Throw it immediately in the washing machine. Um, Jose Maria Fines, maestro, lei ha mai costruito il modello Guadagnini Cello? Risponde pure in inglese, grazie mille. Master, did you ever made a Guadagnini Cello? You can answer in English, grazie. Jose Maria Fines, my very first cello I even made was a Guadagnini. If you look on the back side, it is, it is, it is, yes, it is that one. This one is my Guadagnini, okay? And uh, yes, it's actually, a, I liked it actually very much. And on Guadagnini, I like that if you look at the C, it seems like that the Stradivari C is twisted over. So it's the upper side of the Stradivari C is in the lower part and the lower part is in the upper part. That's a, more or less, and Guadagnini is a superb maker. It was certainly my not ability at those years in the very beginning making a cello just exactly the same way I like a violin. And so I, I, um, I, I, I didn't have that big success immediately with my cellos because I, I made everything as good as possible, but I didn't have this fourth dimension in the sound, which was this, on a cello you need a, like a, 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 a center, which is when you play a, a, a imaginal point or a resistance of the sound, which is a little bit in front of you, and you have to play with that. And I didn't understand how I can achieve that. And there was at a certain point talking a few years later because then I made a lot of trials and I made like this and like that. And at that time I had this Guadagnini model. So then at a certain point I was a little bit disappointed with my cellos. It was like the third or fourth cello. We're talking here about the 90s, okay, 1990 something. And then uh, I, 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 I talked with, I think, Davide Somenzi, who at that time got a, a silver medal in the Triennale or something. And he gave me a few advices and then said, just for the beginning, start with this model. So then I changed the model, I went to um, Stradivari and Montagnana, and then I, later on I went to the States and I changed the Stradivari and I made it larger, and so I made the first the Mara, then the Fat Mara. And then I came to, um, uh, made already the, the Montagnana. I, I did some changes in the thicknesses as well. Um, so the Guadagnini I made, okay? Um, let me see, Elias, thank you, you are great. Oh no, can you see that I'm getting red here already? Oh my God, um, I'm doing my best, it's, it's just, uh, we, we just can do our best here by doing things as normal as possible. And that's why I'm going to have a croissant right now because I'm so hungry. I went to the pasticceria. We don't make advertising here, okay? But when you come to Cremona, go from the train station out immediately to the, le to the right side there is at the corner, there is a, a pasticceria, they call it in Italy, where they make um, um, sweet uh, bakery and croissant, and they even serve coffee there on small tables. And uh, every year for Mondo Musica, I got from Dondi, I get the croissant delivered here, because I personally think they are the best. But this is like a, 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 a war here in the shop that 
you don't know. Um, some say that the, the ones next to the dome, I think these are just so great. And that's what I, I, I want here. I just have to see on the tablet here, there are some more questions. You just don't want me to eat my croissant. Huh? Um, buongiorno a tutti. Elise Cher. Elise Cher. Buongiorno. Hmm? Um, you pretty many here. I'm just getting more and more here. This is good. Have you heard of Olaf the violin maker and two set violin? Olaf, sometimes I looked at it. Yes, I saw and I think it's, it's interesting. Oh, oh, interesting. I enjoy looking at all these things. And two set violin. I always hear a lot, but I, I, don't, I, I don't pass that much in front of the uh, um, uh, computer or, or the laptop or the iPad. In the evening I look a little bit YouTube, yes, um, but two sets. Sometimes I look and the... Okay, not bad, huh? Would be nice to do something with them, huh? If they would come to Cremona and we make something with two set violin, huh? But uh, it has to be also a little bit funny, so who knows? Maybe one day I can do something with a two set violin. But uh, probably to, to qualify, I think I have to like 500,000 um, subscribers on my channel uh, channel so right now we are we are facing the 10,000 and for the 10,000 then I have a really great idea what I'm going to do because Nina and Anna my daughters are a big help for this channel and I'm going to have a big surprise on this whole thing you know so I'm I will celebrate that as well so I'm, I'm actually quite glad that it's not now for Mondo Musica the 10,000 so we have a, a different happening later on for the, for the 10,000 um, big party here. Wow, did you see? This I have to show you, you know. But first of all we have to show you Dondi how that looks like, it's just only the paper is already something, you know, you have to see that. Attilio Dondi, I don't know if you can see that, you know, this is already, even with the music on the logo, which is already probably an old logo, you know. Um, I think this is really nice. And uh, I like this kind of stuff. And then here we have this small trays. And then it really, so these ones, still from Dondi, even that one from probably uh, really good. Since 1910, uh, this is, these are the ones, you know, you have to watch out when you come to Cremona, then you know how Master Russ is eating the best croissants. Not every day, because otherwise I wouldn't qualify to, to fit into the small tiny picture of the YouTube transmission, because my belly would be too big. And these here are now all my croissants. I took all kind of a, this is Frutti di Bosco. And then this one is Integrale. You wouldn't say so, but I remember. And then this one is with cream, um, crema cotta. And this is crema, how I love it very much with cream inside. And then without anything, uh, with marmalade. And then these two, I don't remember, but I just think, mm, huh? is this something? I hope you enjoy this, because I do, and uh, I would love to e take now one of these pieces of the violin here and then put the croissant on top of it and have breakfast like this, just like a real violin maker in Cremona, right? But I just make it like this and I have my, my croissant here, I wanted to take this one here, this is just I hope my personal trainer, Pier Giorgio, doesn't see that because he every time I go into the gym every Thursday morning, he's asking me what I had for dinner last day. And then I tell him what I had and what I was drinking or not drinking. And then it's all a um, big disaster, you know. So I think it's time slowly time to cut off and then I eat it. So then Pier Giorgio or people like this don't see how I eat my croissant, right? So I just want to remember you that you can get in touch with me on all the channels possible from Kakao Talk, WhatsApp, um, Skype, uh, email, Instagram, Facebook. Um, please help me. What else do we have? Line, WeChat, 
for all my Chinese friends. Um, a comment down on the, on the videos like this. Recently there are too many videos and too many comments and I'm, I'm, I'm pretty, it's difficult to, to, to write them all. But uh, email certainly is very good. On my homepage you can also get in touch with me. Okay, And then during the whole Mondo Musica I'm also now participating in, uh, with the Mondo Musica, the virtual Mondo Musica. So we have on Saturday uh, afternoon at 4.15 we have a transmission at the auditorium with Lena playing a few violins of mine and you can also see my schedule on Mondo Musica virtual um, uh, showcase. You can see my contact even on the consortium because I'm a member there. You can get in touch pretty easy or just take the traditional phone call and I'm happy to pick up. My cell phone number is the Italian cell phone number 0039 and then the cell phone number 3352667711. And I pick up the phone all day until I go to bed. So just get in touch with me and I'm happy to talk to you, okay? See you at two o'clock from the workshop, from the musician room with Marco Mauro checking out the cellos. And now I'm finally having my croissant. Bye bye. Ciao, 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 ciao.